Hey, what's happening guys? Pardon me if I sound a little off today. I have, after three years, finally come down with the COVID. So, there's that. Anyway, today we are into this guy here. The Elecro Raspberry Pi Pico Advanced Kit that we took a look at last week. And I got a request from somebody who wanted to see one of the smart car designs built. So all I've done here basically is just screwed shit together. I'm part, pardon me. Screwed things together. So we have our two geared motors attached to the bottom. And their wiring goes into this motor controller here. And then the control for the motor controller comes out here. We have our battery box with the red positive wire split going through the switch then it feeds our rail here the rail feeds the pico and then we have two of these little limit switches here micro switches and now that you're here we're going to put it all together so let's go uh over to the computer and take a look at the instructions I just figured I'd throw this out there and say that everything we've used today, other than a couple of little pieces of wire, are included in the kit. So these are the uh, mounts right here that hold the motor to the board. I soldered the wires on and mounted them to the board. You've seen all this so far. So. I guess the next thing we need to do is get down here and connect up our motor driver. So B1A goes to GP12 and B1B goes to GP13, ground goes to ground, VCC goes to VSIS. I've already done the ground and the VSIS. Then we have A1A and A1B. So all right, let's jump back over to the bench, and we'll get those hooked up. All right, so I've hooked up B1A and B1B to 12 and 13. Now we have to hook up A1A and A1B to 10 and 11. So 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up from the bottom. Looking for A1A. A1A is blue. So blue is seven up from the bottom. There's five, six, seven. And then A1B goes to GP11. which is four up from the bottom. Now we'll connect our, our power. Ground is gray, VCC is this purple color. So ground is gray, VCC is the purple color. Very good so far. Okay, now we're going to connect up our limit switches. Can't tell which one goes left and which one goes right. There's more of a port connection. Doesn't really say, does it? Oh, here we go. Collision sensor left. You have to forgive me, guys. I'm just I'm not feeling today. Collision sensor left goes to GP17, and collision sensor right goes to GP18. <clears throat> All right, collision sensor left. 
goes to GP17, which is where. One up from the bottom right there. And that is our data, which in this case is the red one. It goes here like that. Now my VCC here is the orange. So we'll throw the orange in here. And the yellow is our ground. That goes there. And our other one goes to GP18. Which is one, two, three, four up from the bottom. One, two, three, four. That, that should do it. Let me get some batteries. All right. So hopefully I've got everything connected up here properly. I already updated or uploaded the, uh, the code. I mean, you guys didn't need to see that. I didn't write it, so it's really got nothing to do with me. Um, I had difficulty attaching the USB plug because of where it is located behind that wheel. So end up having to pull that guy out of there, which is fine. It worked okay. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> um um yeah it wants to go backwards i think i need to reverse that Should be able to do that right here. One moment, please. All right, I swapped the control wires up here. We'll see what happens now. It's nuts, like me, but it works. Come here, you. All right, guys. Sorry, I uh, a little bit off this morning, but we'll try and get better. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. And a big thanks to Elacro, you know, for sending this kid out to us. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.